Hey, what's up, guys? I have not seen all of Murray versus Rosado. Uh, I saw uh, the last two rounds. All right, and I probably would give those two rounds to Gabe Rosado. I may look at this fight, uh, maybe Sunday, but I doubt Saturday, uh, but I may look at it Sunday and uh, judge it and give my impressions and score of the fight. But uh, uh, Gabe Rosado was a bit ticked off uh, because one judge scored it, uh, a draw, 114-114, Overruled by one judge who scored at 119-109 and the other one 116-112. As soon as I heard the 119-109, I know, and I'm pretty sure you probably know who won too. There's no no way in hell Gabe Rosado uh, did it. It won all but one round. <laughs> Over in the UK against Martin Murray, man. You know. Why is Gabe Rosado acting all shocked and angry and upset? Why are you shocked, man? You know, you are a guy who was down on his look, down on his ass. Uh, you know, you had to ask your boy, your your fellow uh, Creed co-star, Tony the Bell and the Bell you, to, uh, you know, to, to talk to Eddie to possibly get you a fight over there after Golden Boy dropped you. You're down on your look. You have 10 career losses. Uh, Eddie put you in with one of his boys, Martin Murray. Uh, it was a fight that that was made for Martin Murray to win. You know, it was it was it was not uh he was not trying to give you this golden opportunity to be one of his guys. You know, they, Eddie made the fight because he saw you on the downside, and uh you know kind of down on your luck. And why not get uh you know you can headline a car, uh you know with you against Martin Murray. You know, it was a it was a brilliant move, but uh, you know, going to a decision in the UK, man, look, that was not your way of winning the fight. You had to get multiple knockdowns to knock this guy out. You know, it, that that was really the only way, man. You know, when you're on the road, that's the way you gotta look at it, man, because you get screwed. And uh, it, like I said, I've not seen the fight, but uh, the, the Bell and Tony Bell, you he he had it scored what I think one fifteen, one fourteen. Uh, like I said, one official judge had it 114-114, and uh, the commentators seemed to think that it was a closer fight too. But, uh, you know, after the fight, he's all yell. I don't know if he was yelling at Eddie Hearn or if he was yelling at, uh, at some judges. I-, I saw Eddie down there, but Eddie didn't really appear to be look- you know, looking at him or talking back to him. He just kind of like looking off, you know, <laughs> kind of looking over, you know. Uh, you know, don't be shocked, don't be mad, don't be surprised. You know, you were on their turf. Uh, you, that you were down on your luck. You were not the guy that that was uh the 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 headlining star. It was it was Murray versus Rosado, and and on the uh the the poster of the fight, they had you looking all beat up and shit. <laughs> they were they were sending a message right there from the beginning. But you know what? In all seriousness, man, I thought that was a a good picture, man. Uh, I think I think that was Rosado's trainer was was trying to make a complaint about it. But uh, hey, shit, you better be thankful that your ass got a got a got a got a gig, got a fight. Uh, cause like Golden Boy just pushed you to the side, hell, and and Eddie took him on. So uh, you know, don't be complaining about the opportunity and the headline. If that's the way they want to promote the fight, that's fine. I thought it showed the the uh, kind of blood uh, uh, blood and guts warrior mentality of a Gabe Rosado, a guy who's been in wars. It was not him laying out cold. He was screaming like an adrenaline rush while he was all, you know, kind of eyes full of and stuff. I thought it was kind of like a, a, a tough man type statement that they were making with that with that image. So while I'm, while I'm kind of laughing at it and not saying, yeah, they had your ass beat up on the poster, uh, and you got in this fight, and now you mad at the outcome, like it was predetermined almost. But uh, I, I thought it was a good decision, in all, in all honesty, to use that that photo. I liked it. It was gritty. It was raw. It, it made you think that a war was gonna break out. Uh, so, because I haven't seen this fight, but I will probably look at it tomorrow, uh, and and judge it. And uh, I'm pretty sure Murray probably won. Um. Uh, but, uh, you know, for Rosado, he's just mad because it was a wide score. Like I said, this guy, man, he, he does not win the big fight, man. He, he just, 
you know, he just I, I in the big fights the guy doesn't win, man. You know, he's gonna be mad for that he got screwed over and all that. Well, you know, don't be too shocked, man. You're going over to the UK fighting a, a, a native Brit and uh you know, you down on your luck, man. This was this was a fight for Murray to make some money and to uh get a win. You know, that's just the cold reality of it, man. <laughs> So I just want to make a quick comment after seeing uh uh Rosado kind of throw a little fit there and they kind of pushed each other after. Then they they, they he he went over and shook Murray's hands. Murray was still yapping. So I don't know, man. And then Sky Sports had to, I guess get off the air. But uh, you know, interesting, man. I will try to take a look at this and uh give further comments later. I guess we'll get uh, geared up for the fights tonight. I'm uh primarily focused on boxing tonight. And we'll uh, do UFC later. Uh, so that's it for this one, guys. I will be checking in soon, man. Y'all enjoy the fights and take care.